Reactive audio visualizers can be used in almost any single video and they're really, really versatile and can separate you from the competition. Though making one yourself can be very time consuming and might not be worth the hours of tutorials that are online. That's why Veeds made its own audio waveform generator to do the work for you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you guys can do that for free. So you'll wanna click on the first link in the description or just type in veed.new into your URL. Once you're in, you'll need to upload your footage to Veed or you can use any of the stock footage that you can see here. Just give it a moment and it should show up like this. So we can see that the video file is now on the timeline if we want to see the audio, we can right click on the video, head over to audio and click detach audio for it to come up on the timeline as well. And if you need to add more files, just head over to the media section and just click on there and upload your videos. To automatically generate a reactive audio waveform for a video, head over to the elements tab on the left hand menu. There are many, many different types of waveforms that you can choose from depending on the style of video that they're going for. But for this video, I'm just going to choose this one. After clicking on it, it will show up on the timeline as a new layer which you can move and expand. And now you'll want to make sure that your audio is on the timeline so we can align the the waveform layer with the audio layer. That's why we detached it earlier. So now I've got it aligned, let's edit it to the way that we want. So since we have the music video in the background, I'm gonna change the position and the size to make it fit. But we can also change things like the opacity, the color, as well as the level of decibels that we actually want to capture in that waveform. So I've made some changes to the video. I've added the waveform, positioned it, changed the color, and I've also added some graphics that you can also find in the elements tab as well. And now it's time for us to export this video. We need to export it so that we can download it or share it to social media or even embed it into our website. So we need to go over to the top right of the page and click on export. Check the settings to make sure that you're exporting it in the right resolution. I know that this video is 1080p, so I'll just click on that one. And here we go. It's all exported, ready to download, embed into your website or share on any social straight away. And if you're wanting to learn about video editing and how Veed can help you make your videos better and take less amount of time and stress, then click on these two videos here that can teach you more. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I always love talking to you guys and I'll see you guys over at one of these videos. Goodbye.